these are, I think, DLC that I never got to play. Oh. But we'll play the regular game, though. We okay. can come back and play this. I, I actually, um, I haven't seen this game at all, except for the Kickstarter back before it came out. It's, it's a super fun game. This is uh, really right up my goddamn alley with all this little cute-ass platform. And game. I was very surprised to see that I didn't already own it. Yeah. Because I am a guy who buys Steam games and then, like, is like, I'm going to play that tomorrow. Then I get home and I'm like, <laughs> I'm depressed. I'm not going to do it. It's like that, uh, it's like, what was that, the fucking, uh, that clip from Story, Toy Story that's like a meme where he's just like, I'm done playing with you. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like <laughs> dropping Woody. Um, we'll, we'll just play, we'll play the game Vanilla for right now. Because I like, I played this game many times and it's very fun. Nice. I play it on PS4 because I can't get it to run on my PC, but the nice thing about this is that, like, maybe when we return to it, we can actually play the DLC, so that'd be cool. Nice. So, a couple things. Uh, I have made a couple improvements to the stream. One, I got that damn controller thing to not look as bad. Oh, that, that's cool. Um, you, like, program it, it that yourself, better. right? Like, uh, you did no. all that? Oh, okay. Not that. Um, Good morning! And welcome to yet another day of space um, adventure. I also made the delay for us five, less, five, so that things will sync up better. Okay. Because so how did you do that? Was that just? Like uh, a, I I did it before, but now that there's a lot less delay because it's a faster computer. Uh, it, uh, I just reduced it for everything else, so that okay. everything's a little more snappy. That's cool. Uh, the little chat thing um, has a little cool animation and I decreased the font size so it doesn't look so... Yeah, so the animation. Is it, I think you made that, right? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I programmed that. the CSS. To it's fucking cool, dude. To do that. It, really, the bitch was just finding out which element was that. Um, also, you might notice that we, up in the corner, super smooth. <laughs> I got a new webcam, too. And saying, so I know. am fully prepared to get zero views on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of work, time, and effort into nothing again. But I'm still happy, so. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Mickey Quack to watch a stream. Nice. There she's up. Alright. So, hat time is really. Uh, for fuck's sake, just keep talking to me, you bitch! <laughs> uh, that's just saying. Oh no, she's just spamming with uh oh stinky memes. So it is like like we're, we're streaming for real. <laughs> we're just getting fucking spammed with trash memes already. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this game's been out for a long time. Um, everybody kind of knows about it. I just really like this game, and I just want to play it just because. Was this the one that had JonTron in it, or was that Ukulele? Yeah, this 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 one. Yeah, he's in this one, but okay. he was gonna be in Ukulele too, but I think he got removed from that one. He didn't get removed from this. Okay. So I heard that Ukulele ended up not being so great. Uh, some people don't like it. I even played it, so I couldn't tell you. But I I, I know it's like a banjo like, and that's not really my bag, but. It's, yeah, I, I like those type of games. The problem with that game is that, like, some things are a little bit too obtuse. That fucking hockey puck Roomba. Yeah, you can, like, break it or something. I don't remember. You remember in 2012 when people would just put, like, knives on yeah, there? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> they called it the Doomba. The Doombas. <laughs> I want to build Doombas. Oh, I don't seem to be in here yet. I'm supposed to do something right now, and I can't remember. I think I'm supposed to check this thing. So right. we got 40 out of 40 fuels. That's good. We're on our way home. Uh, so that clock is ending up being more distracting than I like it to be. Oh, I get rid of it now, it's, probably. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go ahead and back down. Oh, I can take that off. On that. Let's take the clock games. off. Yeah. Let's turn the speedrun timer off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what this motherfucker doing? Why are you knocking on Why my Why are you space in space? Door? And not dead. Is this 
flying boat? Unless you're boat, like Steve Princess boy. Leia and can you know, fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it looks like so shitty. I was like, I feel so bad. That's the last thing. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't open my space window, or else all the space will get in. So that guy just said he's from the mafia, and okay. you 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 were supposed you can't be in this spot without paying them basically. Okay. Pay your protection. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh no, my fucking fuels! <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna have to collect all this spawn. <laughs> Gotta collect all these chronographs. Chronograph is it? That, no, that's not what those are. That's like, I don't, Chronograph I don't, is like your standard like watch. Oh, got it, got it. Hey, I was man. like, I don't remember. I remember that word, but I don't remember. I can't like place where it's supposed to. What, what the I fuck was the meaning was? Like, I can't believe I can't remember what the uh, files are called. Uh, sand. Yeah, but there was a specific word. But I got hit in the head recently and can't remember. So oh, gotcha. <laughs> So this game is super duper fun because it's a lot. It's like kind of reminiscent of old GameCube games. Yeah, yeah, definitely looks GameCube. -y. I can also get uh oh stinky here. Yeah, I'm standing in trash. Sure can. Uh oh, that's mustache girl. Uh oh, she has a mustache. Good. That's about it. Did fellow Mafia watch TV last night? <laughs> Confusing science owls say small people can jump double in air. I saw. This makes Mafia uncomfortable with body. <laughs> Must go work out. <laughs> <laughs> this game has some has some pretty good jokes in here. Like these are just like some of the tip of the iceberg. There's some really pretty good ep uh, episodes. There's some pretty good um, levels. Yeah, yeah. The really memorable characters in them. All roads lead to Mafia. Not good. Big immigration problems. We fix this by moving to island. Now no road lead to Mafia. There you go. That's how you do it. That's, that's thinking with your meat. So he's thinking with your head meat. So you want to get these bank vault codes, and then like they give you like a crap load of like uh, money, basically. <laughs> Those little crystals that we've got. So does each level end with a, a Prince of Persia Sands of Time? Uh, kinda. Um... It's it's kind of like uh, you kind of do what you want a little bit. You're there's a little bit of free roam, free roam in some levels, but other level not every level though. Okay. Um, right now we're just starting out, so we're just kind of gonna follow what it wants us to do. Um, I just really like the environment here. It's so fucking good looking. So much stuff to do. Who actually waited for you? <laughs> Oh, there's a game I want to show you at some point. Also, not like we don't have enough on our immediate. Uh, I mean, we'll get to it. We'll play it. Yeah, we'll um, it's it's like a Metroidvania that's kind of Dark Soulsy, but like I really I really like it. It's uh, Momodoria. Oh, uh, yeah. Under Moonlight. I think you showed me a little bit of that before. Be a really dangerous cool. place. So what do you say? Wanna join my little rebellion? Oh yeah, I want to join the rebellion. Way, did you have anything to do with the junk falling from the sky? Yeah? Yikes! Looks like you've got a lot of cleaning up to do, huh? Tell you what, come up here and I can show you where some of your junk land. It's not junk, it's fuel, bitch! <laughs> I remember. I had some people in my life at one point who were, uh, like, hardcore gamers. Oh, yeah. And would refer to the GameCube as the lame cube. <laughs> they can talk a lot of shit while I have two GameCubes strapped in my wrists as fists. Because <laughs> <laughs> they got that big handle on the end. He's just like, somebody, he's like, oh, I'm a hardcore gamer. Has it get, like, <laughs> smacked in the face by a GameCube fist? <laughs> They're just like... Guess your chin wasn't hardcore. 
GameCube has doesn't have a scratch on it though. That thing was indestructible. <laughs> I tell you about uh, one of my friends who was like fucking crazy, and he like he wanted to see how indestructible the fucking GameCube was, and he actually like took his GameCube and he like spent the day just like throwing it up and down his stairs at his parents' house. And like would turn it on to see if it still worked, and it, it still did. And then he eventually got like frustrated and decided, well, you know what I'm gonna do? He didn't get a hammer. He didn't get tools. He decided he was gonna freeze it. Okay. So he poured water on it, put it in the freezer overnight. He froze his GameCube. See, this is where it's gone too far, right? It's already went too far and throw it down the stairs a bunch of times. But like, now you're just breaking stuff that you like. <laughs> Yeah. And so he did that. And we played Wind Waker that weekend. Nice. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. <laughs> like, I I was straight up like oh, that. That guy is hailing Hitler, isn't he? Nah, he's just waving. Oh, he's high fiving. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. Ah, oh, fuck you! He's like itty bitty yacht and top. No more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't remember that. <laughs> nay, nay, I am boo boo boo. <laughs> God, it's been, oh, this guy over here is great. He's the shop man, and he looks weird as fuck. Whoa! He's it's like a shy guy. Yeah, he's, he's glitching out because he's been to so many different from worlds. Far away land. I've seen every corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades. And if I was having a lot of trouble with my keyframes, I'd make a character like this too. <laughs> he seems like it was an accident, but I think this actually was on purpose. Yeah, it, but it, it definitely does. seems like an accident. Do I have enough for that? Oh, I do. Sweet. Because it's not going way off. And my fucking phone is just on every fucking alert. I'm gonna turn them off here. No worries. Got mine on too. And I'm not gonna turn them off. Alright. And I don't have enough for any of the other stuff. I can just I can actually walk around this whole stage and just kinda collect stuff until I can buy more badges from him. Because there's gonna be a level where they kinda want you to buy badges, but I like to get stuff early. Yeah. Um, but I'm not gonna like just wander around this level like that. I'm just gonna continue just to kinda see the game. Sure. Experience it. Oh, he dead. He just did a homing attack. <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much do like a sonic homing attack on enemies. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just, you're just in this fucking mafia. The first world isn't like, uh, instead of it being like based on elements, like, you know, usually a lot of these games will be like, oh, this is sand world or this is water world or whatever. It's just mafia world. <laughs> yeah. That's the theme is mafia world. <laughs> so every single five, every five seconds, you're just getting with another fucking mafia reference. Nice. Because some of the theming in this game is definitely like unseen in a lot of games like this. Like they don't do a lot of games don't do this kind of shit. There's a level. There's a there's a world in this game that's just like movie themed. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just like filmmaking, and cool. like the missions are like based on that, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Let's go beat up the mafia. Hey, forget about it, town. It's <laughs> a <laughs> poorly town. We're just fucking beating up Grim every fucking person. <laughs> He's never gonna what see this. What I love so most I'm gonna, about that is that nobody is that knows. He hates that. He does. <laughs> He's from New York. Doesn't really have a accent at all. He doesn't at all. It's not even but, a fucking... <laughs> but the fact but I say that he does or I imply it in some way <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's good at rolling with the punches but I can tell. Yeah, he's I just can like... tell he's he's annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> it would be annoying. So we just could be, he's fucking making it look like a weird like 
fucking I'm just like, stereotype. I was like, hey, Grim, remember that time you saw my cat? And you're like, oh, hey, I'm so fucking cat. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. That was good. All right, so this is this is uh, this is yarn. So like, you collect yarn to make new hats. Oh. And the hats give you new like different like platforming style abilities, and you can kind of swap behind between them, and well, it's really fun. I think it's kind of a fruitless thing because like Gabe Newell is just gonna steal them. He does actually steal your hats. He, actually, there's an enemy called Gabe, and he runs up in the, between corners and just rips your hat off and <laughs> runs away to like uh, Steam World. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what that was from the Game Duel stole our hats thing? I think I remember we talked about this once. I don't remember every detail, but I do remember that. <laughs> so there was this idling program that was made for Team Fortress 2 back when hats were super rare and like you'd get a few drops. You, like they just had random drops as you played this shooter, which is still how most of those games works even now. Uh, but hats used to be super rare, and everybody wanted them. Or anyone, everyone who really cared about TF2 did. Or really cared about the items in TF2. <laughs> you know. Uh, a good amount of people really wanted them. And, uh... Oh. God, is it possible to even beat those guys? I don't even think you can. Yeah, they just, like, trick you into a game of patty cake. Because, like, you can talk to people, and some of the people will just be like, Oh, no, I'm just gonna hurt you. Damn. And so, like, there was a program that you could just kind of link up to Team Fortress 2 that would just have you be connected, and you and it would get you drops over a period of time. Oh. Just hanging out on dynamite, you know, just big old barrels of TNT. Child, shoo! Mafia can't have but, child witness when Mafia teaching lesson. Huh? It's awkward for Mafia. Mafia not sure what to do. Boss, what do we do with eyewitness? Teach her lesson, boys. Come to Papa Mafia. <laughs> and uh, so like Vel cracked down on that program, the the idle program, and they said, "All right, anything that was ever dropped." will get rolled back in the database and those items will be removed. Oh, but that that's like only stuff that you didn't you didn't run the game for and you were just connected to this program that was just getting you items. So uh, they're like anything obtained with that is gone because that's not really legitimate. And uh, so some people's hats uh, before they made hats like super common. Yeah. And, uh, Enough. And then anyone who didn't use that program gets a free Halo from us. Oh, okay. A free Halo hat. And all hell broke <laughs> loose. Because now everybody wants that fucking hat or they're pissed that they they're took your hat away. That and they they lost their hats. Moment. And one of our. One of my uh, Steam friends, who is just a very annoying child. <laughs> um, he uh, was a stinky, poopy diaper baby. <laughs> uh, he was not actually a child. Uh, and, and, and yes. He was yes. a stinky, too poopy diaper baby. And uh, he changed his name you to Gabe Newell Stole Our Hats. And so that's something me and Nathan say all the time. That's it's just funny. Gabe Newell Stole Our Hats. And man, people started getting harassed for having Halos on. Of course they and did. And people would mod their servers to make the Halo say other things. Holy shit. <laughs> that's like that's like the opposite of it what happened with uh deliciously petty. The fact, like the the Halo thing reminds me of um come on. Mafia need to take care of this mafia style. Prepare to feel what mafia do to old ladies. Oh, that sounds bad. I don't want to. I don't want to see what you do to old ladies. Follow me. <laughs> um. But okay. So like, uh, I watched a documentary recently about Gaia Online. Oh yeah. And there was like, I didn't even know about this, but like way back, like they had like a whole bunch of financial trouble, and like people like donated 
to like save the site, and people who did that got a special item that they didn't know they were going to get. Okay. It was this Halo. And that thing is expensive as shit, and eventually like people started selling them just to like get a lot of money. Yeah. And they started fucking with the economy of that game. So what they did is they started having like uh, wow. regular special items that you can get. Okay. And, uh, and like, it's just like it reminded me of that because exact opposite. People just wanted them really bad instead of like hating everybody who had them. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was after that when like the economy came out, and man, did shit get weird because the hat like everyone was getting hats left and right, up and down. And then people wanted specific things, and then there were super rare ones, and then there were ways to actually get money for stuff, and then uh, it became this whole mess, and I kind of lost interest a little. Like, well, I mean, yeah, it's, it sounds like it's about, a bunch of bullshit. About, uh, not right away, but like a few months down the line. No? You shy? That's cool. You're a less talk, more fighting kind of girl, I take it. That thing you grabbed there. Are you collecting them? They've been raining from the sky ever since you arrived. I've seen the goons bring them to their headquarters way up there. <gasps> we should go up there and get your junk. It'll be fun. I'll take any opportunity that involves messing up the mafia. All right, this is pretty cool. You with me, buddy? Fuck the mafia. Fuck the mafia. That's right, the <laughs> Mafia, you're on notice. <laughs> we just got friend points with Mustache Girl. <laughs> the social link is up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, intruder alert. Oh shit. Warning, challenger approach. You're right. What the fuck you doing in my spaceship? You just do a mustache, you can just sneak aboard. Uh Let's do it! I'm psyched! Let's go over the plan. All assaults need a good plan, or it'll be a flop. First, we strangle them, choke them, and watch them beg for mercy. That'll show them. <laughs> Jesus. No, wait. Strangling is too kind. We smash them together into mush and put their remains in a jar. There we go. Oh, oh that, that's pretty then, fucking brutal. There's a lot of blood the there and guts. Ready. That'll be the ultimate salt in the wound. <clears throat> but first, we have to uh, make it through their Mafia HQ. Once we find. Bro, well, I know he smells bad. Probably box, smells. Follow, He's bad and dumb, so that's all I need to do. Party will be no <laughs> We've got to get you geared up. Your hat is basic. And we don't do basic in this gang. So this cuts scene. That's right, Slay. <laughs> That's John, right, Slay Queen. Around Mafia Town and used to stitch new hats if you're crafty. I've collected one for you. Well, thanks for nothing. I already have. I already have this hat. You need more yarn for some hats than others. I guess being creative isn't free. So keep an eye out for yarn. Now you're a killing machine. Let's Isn't there get them. a yarn store that like had some crazy like ritual or something? Oh shit! What? There was some crazy, insane. I don't know if it was um um a Hobby Lobby or what, but there was uh, some maybe I don't know. crazy bullshit. I, I mean, I believe you. That's probably a thing. So the thing about the hats, like, I know most people, like, this for people who haven't played this game and are watching this for some reason and not somebody else. Uh, so anyway, these hats are, they all different abilities. The one I have on right now lets me do a dash. Okay. So I can run real fast with this hat on. Then, if I want to swap out the other hat, kind of slows down time there. And this one lets me see where the next objective, yeah, objective is. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. There are, like, I think five hats or something total. And there's a bunch of different like things you can put on the hats. There's also like different skins for the hats, so they do the same ability as ones you have already. But they look cool. That was it. Uh, Hobby Lobby purchased thousands of ancient artifacts smuggled out of Iraq what? from ancient Mesopotamia. What the fuck? Why? Hobby Lobby, what the fuck? That was that was it. 
What the heck? Why did they need that? Got a little raincoat on. Yeah, that, that's pretty, pretty nuts. That's freaking weird. What? Why would they need to do that? Little girl, see thing over there? Mafia wonder if there is way to get, but Mafia no time to search for entrance if Mafia need to stare. I don't think I have the ability to get in there. Nope, I don't. So, we're gonna skip that for right now. I hate that enemy, because, like... They always place them in places you can't quite see them, and they just hit you. It's a big meat. Attacked me unless I attacked him first. Uh oh, I just wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Bitch! Yeah, I gotta look around <laughs> for my parents before I say this. <laughs> also, this game has Dude, little spots in, uh, like this. Kay and Peel's sketch, I stole that from. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, he was looking around for his wife because he's talking about her. And he's like, And then I was like, Bitch! Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, they were like, they were like talking shit about their wives. Yeah. <laughs> they were like terrified. <laughs> They're gonna hear. They wanted to sound cool in front of their guy friends. Yeah. But, but you know, they're also just being stupid. They're like, That's one thing I never got. Is why people need to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just like a fucking weird masculine thing. I don't really yeah. get it. There's there's a lot of weird shit like that. It's like a bonding thing to just like bitch about your spouse. Yeah. And like, like it's not just a guy thing, I guess either. It's yeah. Both ways go. It goes both both ways, but it's I don't know. I don't I don't get it. Like it's just like yeah. for me, it's just like I don't get the point of like why why are you like it's like people who refer to the old ball and chain. Yeah. Like I wonder why you get married in the first place if you hate it so much. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Fucking dumb. It. Oh, he squeak. <laughs> Your girlfriend's going out with Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we watched basketball. <laughs> that was an experience. Yeah. That was... That movie is Gen X as fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. 